This is the information age, the age of big data. Big data is not just for social media and not just for your wearable devices that measure your heart rate, the number of steps you take, your calories burned, and for some of us, unfortunately, calories consumed. I'm Dr. Karen Smith, the director of the California Department of Public Health and the State Public Health Officer. I am here in a secure and secret location. It's very loud in here and it's very cool. It's also quite chilly. This is one of CDPH's data centers where we process and store California's public health data. Our tier three data centers are among the most secure and the most reliable in the nation. You know, they say that information is power. Well then, our data center is power. It is the very nerve center of public health. Big data is high volume, high velocity, and high variety information. IT folks call it 3V. Just about everything we do in public health depends on the big data found here with the blinking lights and the whirring machines in racks of servers like these. Birth records, death records, marriage records, immunizations, infectious disease monitoring, cancer and asthma prevention, environmental and occupational health, injury prevention, they all require data. The data found on servers like these provides us with the capacity to prevent disease, promote health, prepare for and respond to public health emergencies and emerging disease threats and other public health threats like climate change or environmental toxins. This data is the foundation for our planning, delivering, evaluating, and improving public health and public health interventions. For the incredible work to be done here at CDPH, this data has to be accurate, it must be relevant, and it must be timely. Accurate, relevant, and timely data informs public health workers and stakeholders of what public health action needs to be taken. Since the beginning of the World Wide Web in 1989, public health agencies like ours have been using evolving information technology to collect and share data and information. It can provide early warnings of impending public health emergencies like foodborne or communicable disease outbreaks. Turning large amounts of data into actionable information allows us to identify the needs, the provision of services, the prevention of illness, and builds resilience against emergencies and natural disasters, especially for the benefit of our most vulnerable populations and communities. We also take a lot of this big data and we make it open data for everyone to see and use. So how do you solve complex public health issues and promote healthy California communities? By adding big data to the tools we already use to make sound, evidence-based, science-based decisions. Big data gives us an unprecedented ability to understand, analyze, and ultimately protect and promote the health of everyone who calls California home and the millions who visit here each year. Thank you to all of the IT staff and technicians, public health scientists and researchers who help us collect and use this big data.